Good day folks, Sean here from Air Photography. Today in this video I want to talk about one of my personal favorite features of the Mavic 3 and that is Spotlight. Now Spotlight's also available in the Air 2S and the original Air 2, but for today's video we're going to be focusing on the Mavic 3. Now Spotlight is bundled into a tool that DJ calls Focus Track, which contains Active Track, Spotlight, and Point of Interest. It's considered an intelligent flight feature. Now sometimes these intelligent flight features and flight modes can get a little bit gimmicky, but that's definitely not the case with Spotlight. Spotlight. Spotlight is a very useful tool whether you're a beginner drone pilot or even a seasoned pilot. It basically gives you a cameraman so you can just focus on flying. Now when it comes to filming a subject or filming a point of interest, I like to usually fly the drone myself. I like to hone my skills, kind of get really good at some of these advanced maneuvers. And for the most part I can capture some nice dynamic shots, but the problem is sometimes we can make mistakes and it can really ruin a shot. Now in this video I'm going to be demonstrating on a lighthouse that I filmed a couple days ago. And when capturing subjects like that it's really good to include some nice uh, interesting shots other than just flying over top of it or beside it. Different rotations around it, changing your altitude, adjusting the camera can really make your shot look a little more dramatic. For example, you might be circling around it using the sticks, but then at the same time you want to be pulling back and maybe raising your altitude and all at the same time adjusting the pitch of the gimbal just so you can keep everything centered. And that's where sometimes the problems can arise. You might be doing everything perfectly, but then you mess up on the gimbal and it either goes goes up too high or too low and then the shot is ruined. With Spotlight you could select the point of interest and just focus on the flying. Spotlight will do its best to keep everything centered in the screen while you just focus on flying and really for the most part it does a pretty good job. So let's go ahead here we're going to take a quick look at it and how it works. Now just a couple things to mention there are a few limitations when using it. You cannot use it when in explorer mode and you cannot use Spotlight when filming in 5.1k or high frame rates. The highest resolutions it supports is 4K at 30 frames per second. And uh, really it's a simple tool to use. Once you get your subject in your field of view, all you have to do is draw a box around it and right away the focus track tools are gonna come up and Spotlight is the one that's automatically selected. And at this point, you just have to fly the drone. You can move in reverse, you can move forward, side to side, and all the while it's going to keep your point of interest centered in the screen. Now for the most part it's centered, but sometimes you'll see it does move off to the side a little bit, but as soon as you change your position, it will recenter itself. But that's okay because it's still done in a nice smooth fashion, so when you watch the footage back, it still looks nice and flowing. And you can get some really interesting content like this. Just fly around for five minutes, you can then take it home, chop it up, and it looks like it was filmed by a professional. And uh, another interesting thing is it doesn't have to be a stationary subject. Because it can make use of the tracking feature, you can select something like a car or a person. Again, let the camera stay focused on that subject, and you can just do the flying around. So definitely it's a great tool, and as mentioned, it's great for both beginner pilots and even advanced pilots. You still get the joy of flying your drone. You're not just letting the software do everything for you. And as a professional, it can save you a lot of time. You know what that saying is, time is money. So you can get in, get the shots you need, get out, and move on to the next job. Now just quickly, while we're on the subject of that focus track, that same tool also allows you to just do a simple point of interest. Accessing the point of interest tool is the exact same method. You just draw a box around your subject. You can just tap on the go button, and you can see there on each side of the tool we have arrows. So we can set which direction the drone rotates around the subject. There's also a little slider there that you can move up and down the arrow, and that will set the speed at which it rotates around the subject. And in addition to that, while it's circling the point of interest, you can actually do some other maneuvers as well. For example, you can tilt the gimbal up and down to adjust the camera if need be. You can also use your sticks to adjust the position of the drone. You can fly in a little closer. You can fly backwards to get more of the area in view. You can also adjust your altitude up and down. So definitely one of my favorite tools of the Mavic 3 and the Air 2S. As mentioned, you can use Spotlight on the Air 2S and the Air 2. I'm really curious to know how many other people really enjoy using Spotlight. Let me know down in the comments if it's a tool that you use frequently. I want to thank you for watching this video. Hopefully you enjoyed it and got some value out of it. Give it a thumbs up if you did. It's always greatly appreciated. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel so you don't miss any of our upcoming videos. And we'll see you in the next one.